Made in Hollywood. Voice actors deliver the dialogue and exclamations for the characters in an animated motion picture. Maurice LaMarche began doing character voices as a child and started performing stand-up comedy at the age of 19. Mr. LaMarche's first voiceover role was on the animated TV show Inspector Gadget, and he's gone on to perform on over 150 animated series. Hey, stop right there! <sighs> Have a donut, copper! Ah! I love your hair. Oh, thank you. You are a voiceover artist. Did you always know that you wanted to voice characters in animated films? Well, I started out loving cartoons as a little kid, but I never imagined there were actual real people doing that. When I was five, I just thought that was kind of like an extra dimension of flat people who were really funny, who, you know, put on these little skits for us. And so I never saw it as anything, though, that I could get into until I became an adult and started doing stand-up comedy. And I had a lot of impressions in my act. And so I was very lucky. There was this one lady in the audience one night who was from a big talent agency, and she was the voiceover agent. And she kind of picked me and said, you know, you could do voiceovers with all those impressions. So she sent me out on auditions for about a year until I finally got something. And the beautiful thing about this business is it's the closest thing to a meritocracy that exists in show business. If you show up on time and you're easy to work with and you can do the work and do lots of characters and you're a decent actor, uh, they'll ask you back. <laughs> so it's just it's just been based on that. We gotta go. Whose car is it? The most feared crime boss, Mr. Big. Oh, God. So you never had to go get formal education or training to assist you as a voiceover artist, right? I didn't. I know a lot of people who do. My, Can my, you do that? Are, are there classes there, there that you are, go to? There are voiceover workshops, but I recommend that people start out by becoming a good actor, period. You know, voice acting is just acting without needing to worry about hair, lighting, makeup, because all that matters is the performance here. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can play a bunch of different characters. It's like actor's repertory. You know, you can be five characters in an episode or something. So it's really true acting. It maybe is a little bigger and goofier at times, but you get a chance to stretch, and that's a lot of fun. What did you do that made Mr. Big so mad at you? I, um, I may have sold him a very expensive wool rug that was made from the fur of a skunk. But... Oh, sweet cheese and crackers. And how long during the shooting process are you a part of the production? How many days are you recording? For this film, I probably had about 10 sessions where we just worked on this scene over a course of, I would say, five or six months and just kept honing it and they kept writing new stuff. What's that, Mr. Big? Stop talking, stop talking. Huh. I saw. Oh, I got it. Daddy! <sighs> what did we say? No, I seen anyone at my wedding. I have to, baby. Daddy has to. All right, we're gonna hone our skills right now. Yes. It's time for our dance. What did we say? No icing anyone at my wedding. I have to, baby. Daddy has to. Ice. No, no, no. No, wait, no, no. no. Wait. Out of all the voiceovers that you've done, which one has been the one that you've enjoyed the most? Well, I'll tell you. It's like asking you which of your children do you like <laughs> the most. You know. But this character, Mr. Big, has been so much fun for me. He, uh, to, to get to be part of an iconic Disney film like this that has such a great message for not only young girls, the, the message that you can do anything you want with your life if you're willing to work hard for it, but also the messages of not prejudging people, you know, taking people each individually and, and letting go of your prejudices. This is a fantastic film, not to mention it's hilarious, beautifully animated, and there's a fantastic mystery in it that so far nobody I know has solved it without seeing the film. You know, like they don't go, oh, I knew that was coming when the twist comes. So this is great. This is, for me, this character is, is, is right up there, all-time favorites, and he's close to my heart. We may be evolved, but deep down, we are still animals. Oh, quit it. You're going to start a howl. No, you are naked. For sure. We're a naturalist club. All the way down. Oh. Made in Hollywood.